This is the candlestick drill. You want to drop quickly down and over and glide as long as you can. To hold the poles, you want to keep them straight up and down as much as possible. Keep your elbows tucked in tightly to your torso and your eyes pointing straight at the poles in addition to the same direction as your ski would be going. Count out one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Here's another view. You can see now how quick the twist across is. It's not slow, it's very quick and erratic. That allows you to get more power on the push. This is the Jesus drill. Similar to the candlestick, but use your poles in the opposite direction. And you want to keep your head pointing in the same direction as your ski. This is the next step after you've mastered the candlestick. As you can see, if you tripped, it is a little more difficult to recover. You want to still keep the same quick down and over drop and very hard push with the leg. Try to glide as long as you can and I recommend pulling a tire for all these exercises so you don't have your speed going too fast. You feel more comfortable when you have that resistance. This is the no pull drill. You can either use your poles like this or just completely drop them. In this case, you can use your poles to help you with momentum going forward. The upswing is the most important point. Here's the V2, um, watch out for a rock. And there's the V2, still getting a lot of glide keep my torso pointing in the same direction as each ski. You're back to the V2 alternate to the left this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Just count them out. The longer you go, the more efficient you're going to be. Decrease the amount of time that you're pushing and increase the amount of time that you're gliding. You'll become more efficient over time. In every skating technique, you always want your hips in front of your heels. In front of your heels, please. In front. Notice how wide my hands are in the front and the back. Ski like a starfish. Skiing like a starfish aids in balance and full commitment to each ski. So my technique is not perfect, but I've skied long enough to know what works for me. And you see how quick my head snaps across the body plane. Snap, snap, snap. This is the T-Rex drill with both feet down. You wanna keep your hands pinned to your shoulders as much as you can and just drop your body weight onto your pole. So you're just jumping upwards, not pushing down. You're letting gravity push on your poles. The purpose of this exercise is to teach your body how to just focus on the dropping aspect, removing the upper body from any confusion. You can just work on the lower body and letting gravity pull you to the earth, applying that pressure through the poles. This is the one-legged T-Rex drill. Notice I have one foot off the ground each time I'm pushing. That's replicating a skate push in like a, a V2 um, when you actually split your feet apart. It's vitally important in this drill to drop your hip forward. Make sure that your hip is in front of your heel. This is called stick pull. Keeping your feet together as much as you can and just going up a long gradual uphill, extending your hands all the way forward and all the way back as best you can. Try not to bounce. Keep your feet together. This is the short long workout. Sometimes five, sometimes ten. So you want to go five short, five long. Strides. That repeats itself for the duration.